I can feel the warmth of Lithuania. <laughs> this is my first time in these Baltic countries. How many years were the Soviets ruling Lithuania? 50 years. 50 years in the prison for two generations. It was impossible even to go to Poland. It was, it was impossible to go anywhere outside of the USSR. People were killed. People were sent to Siberia. People were shot in the streets. In 1988, it just exploded. People came out and they asked justice about history. And this is what we're coming to the Baltic Way. The Baltic Way was the three countries that came together, Estonia, Latvia, Latvia and, Lithuania. and Lithuania. You formed an alliance. The three Baltic states said to the world that we are here, we don't like how the, our history is interpreted and we want freedom and we're going to fight it together in peaceful way. You can see where it started from here. Over there, it's the castle. It was a Lithuanian who was holding the Lithuanian flag on the top, all the way through the Baltic states, about 800 kilometers, a person and person holding hands together. So it was a human chain. March of 11th, 1990, Lithuania, first in the USSR, decided to vote for independence. The Soviets were very, very unhappy about it. I was uh, just barely 17. Our um, president, Mr. Landsbergis, was calling people to come and uh, defend the parliament. And boom, on the 13th of January, we were starting to feel the vibration of the tanks. I was starting to get ready to die. I didn't know what I'm going to do. I said, okay, I'll just stand with my flag until I, I don't know what, what is going to happen. So we waited. Later, we found out that they decided there's going to be too many casualties, too much meat. So this is how we stood up and used the tactics of defending the governments and other parliaments, just standing there without anything. You stand there, you hold your hands, and you don't move an inch.